tis I. Now, this video is about someone named Tunkin, someone who made a video on a video a good pal of mine, the F Lamentato, made on a video someone named Crying Blossom made on yours truly. Now, I am aware that Ephraim himself did cover this, though there are other things outside of his video I would like to cover. Also, unlike his, and like all my response commentaries, this will be linear, because that's just how my brain processes things best. Ephraim's video is actually super good, along with his video being covered by Turnkin in the first place, so I will be linking both videos in the description. So, essentially, I made a video talking about why bi lesbians were valid, Crying Blossom made a horrid response video on it, Ephraim covered Blossom's video, and Turnkin covered the video Ephraim made. One thing I would like to note is that I would very much recommend anyone watching who hasn't seen the original video I made to watch it. It has since been unlisted, but that's essentially because I was pressured to, so that video will also be linked in the description. Please check that video out before getting all upset because you disagree with my opinion on bi lesbians. That video explains my full opinion in detail. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Oh yeah, I'm skipping the first 50 seconds because it's not relevant and it's just talking about how this video was delayed back a month. Starting off, I would like people to know that I am a queer person myself. I'm a trans man who is gay. I just found this conversation a bit strange. I wanted to dip my toes in the water of this. Hey, you know where this is gonna go if you've seen other videos of mine. Now, who are we talking about? Well, the main characters are Efron, Manator. Efron. Okay, okay. His name is pronounced Efromentator. Ephraim, with an M at the end, mixed with the word commentator. I thought this was common knowledge. And Crying Blossom. I apologize, Ephraim. I don't know how to say your full name. I did my best. Both commentary YouTubers talking about another commentator who goes by the name of Mushroom Girl, or MG as often said. Despite acknowledging that my name is MG, they were proceed to repeatedly call me Mush in this video as if there isn't an already common, official, and literally two-letter name for my character. This isn't really a big deal, but it's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. I wanted to talk to Mushroom about the situation because I feel as though it's a misunderstanding on how Mushroom portrays their opinion. So, as of right now, I have spoken to Mush. He brings this up, which, yeah, we did have a Discord conversation, which was not only about the bi-lesbians, but was also about one of my OCs that he found particularly problematic, which, this is kinda off topic, but they acknowledged I did something harmful when I was 12, acknowledged the mistake had been corrected, but they still think the character in question is tainted or something. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Anyway, about the bi-lesbians thing, I'll discuss specific parts from the conversation in question a bit later. I was right, just as everyone has different opinions, some people don't want to change their views, and that's fine, I don't care, but I will say this again, Mushroom. Don't get mad if you get called out for your choices or opinion. Would making this response be considered getting mad? You don't get to some call someone invalid or homophobic because you want to treat and create new terms. Cool? Cool. One, I did not create the term bi-lesbian. I have no idea where you got that from. Also, sort of related to this, they get something very wrong about me, which will be very apparent soon, and it's hilarious once you realize it. You'll see. Two, isn't this whole video you calling the term bi-lesbian invalid? Like, did you just forget the topic you're discussing and the side you are on? Three, creating new terms? Later in this video, you say the issue is that the term bi-lesbian isn't original enough and it's just slapping two terms together. But now the idea of, oh, I don't know, creating new terms to help identify your preferences is apparently forbidden now. You know, the term transgender was a term that had to be created at some point. Same with the word gay. 
Actually, that also applies to the term man as well, along with every word in existence. Does that mean you identifying with those terms, or any terms at all, make you invalid? No. Stop. Now, this specific video, I have some disagreements because of its nature, which is the debate on bi-lesbians. Now, as a dude, I don't really have much to say about what women call themselves. Yet you made an entire video on the subject. Ugh, I feel like a broken record every time I cover these people. They always make the same dumb contradictions. But where I delve into this rabbit hole is the combination of the two words, bisexual and lesbian. Now, it's not like I really care what people call themselves. Again, none of my business, and sometimes it only acts to create confusion. You literally claim later in this video that bi-lesbians are, quote, stepping on the toes of lesbians. What the actual fuck are you talking about? But where I throw my hat in is, why have two completely different labels combined into one? I quite literally explained this in my original video. Bi-lesbian is a term that exists because of what I've heard people call split attraction. You see, sexual and romantic attraction may be similar, but in some people, they don't always align. A great example of this is asexual lesbians. They do not find anyone sexually attractive, but they would want to be in a romantic relationship with a woman. This also applies when you flip it the other way, with aromantic lesbians. They do not want a romantic relationship with anyone, but they find women sexually attractive, and maybe in a sexual relationship with one. The term bisexual lesbian is meant to refer to someone who is sexually attracted to two or more genders, but only wants to be in a romantic relationship with women. Same goes for biromantic lesbian, which means that they are romantically interested in two or more genders, but they are only sexually attracted to women. And the term bi-lesbian can refer to either bisexual lesbians or bi-romantic lesbians, or both. Also, two different attraction labels can actually be combined. It's not that uncommon. For example, the terms demisexual and demiromantic are terms that are under the asexual umbrella. They are often paired with another sexual or romantic identity, as the definitions have no gender specification and talk about when you gain attraction, not who you gain attraction to. Like, for example, a lesbian is a woman or non-gender confirming person who only likes women or women presenting people. This argument of pulling up a vague paraphrase definition may seem valid until you look at the actual definition of the word lesbian. Denoting or relating to women who are sexually or romantically attracted exclusively to other women, or to sexual attraction or activity between women. What do you notice here? If you notice that Turnkin forgot to mention that the definition acknowledges and supports split attraction, you'd be right. A bisexual, a person who likes both genders, any, and all genders, with like a specific preference to like that. Uh, you started your sentence giving a definition that was vaguely bisexual and then you completely shifted to talk about a term similar to bisexual, that being omnisexual. Being bisexual is being sexually or romantically attracted to both men and women or to more than one sex or gender. And omnisexual has a couple definitions, but the one most commonly used being someone who is romantically, emotionally, or sexually attracted to persons of all genders and orientations. This term is often used interchangeably with pansexual. Did you even look up the terms you were using? Of course you didn't. Oh yeah, and both of these definitions also acknowledge and support split attraction, which you also ignored! Yay! I understand not talking about split attraction when introducing people to sexuality terms because it can be confusing for people who don't understand split attraction. But with the topic of bi-lesbians, it's shitty and dismissive to ignore it as the argument supporting bi-lesbians quite literally depends on it. Like, why combine them if you like all people? Just go by the bisexual title. I feel like that's a easy fix to this whole situation. Sure, people who are bisexual lesbians could just use the term bisexual, just like omnisexual people could also use the term bisexual. But what if they want to be more specific? There are a lot of labels that actually fit under the bisexual umbrella. Omnisexual, pansexual, 
most other sexualities that involve somebody liking two or more genders. Hell, lesbian could be fit into the bisexual label if we're going by the non-man liking non-man definition, which would include non-binary identities, which, uh, guess what, would include two or more genders. But sure, go nuts and call yourself a deer spirit for all I care. Mushroom gave me their insight on what a bi-lesbian is. Basically, it's a person who is bisexual or bi-romantic, leaning towards liking women more than men. That is not what I told you! The more this video goes on, the more I feel like they're leaving things out on purpose. Cool, right? But there's the thing. You already have terms for this kind of thing. Which I do not mention. Or at least I thought there was, and if it didn't include other sexualities names along with it, I don't know, I didn't get too far, so please correct me if I am wrong. Ah, so you just assumed there were terms and didn't look into it. Great. This video is great so far. So when I brought this up with Mushroom, she said that it just made it easier to explain, and I felt like that was counterintuitive. Like. People barely know what being non-binary is, and you think combining two completely different terms makes it easier to explain your sexuality? People don't know what non-binary is, therefore bi-lesbians aren't valid. What? Also, later in this video, you literally got on to me for comparing sexualities and genders, and now you're comparing sexualities and genders. But, um, yeah. If people know what a lesbian is, and they know what a bisexual is, they'll have a general idea of what a bi-lesbian is. Sorry, I just thought this should be brought up because people made it sound like it made sense. I really don't think it does, though. But again, here's where another thing comes in. Efron. They wanted to pitch in their opinions on what crying had to say. So far as this video, I have no idea what Efren goes by. He, him. I will just use they, them for the time being. Things to note that I feel should be said. One, I think this might be a troll video. Uh, why? First of all, as somebody who's a good friend of Efrem's, it isn't. Second of all, what the fuck gave you the impression he was trolling? Now, I feel like I could be completely wrong Ef and Efron just doesn't straight up watch the video to its fullest or whatever, but you'll soon come to see why I think this might be the case. Number two, crying is a non-binary lesbian. At some point in their video, Efron states why shouldn't we talk, uh, uh, we shouldn't talk about lesbian issues. I don't know how they miss this. Guys, I am not joking when I say I have absolutely no idea what the ever-loving fuck this man just said. And I don't- uh, I don't know how they didn't know this. Efron also doesn't use crying's correct pronouns throughout the whole video, with, again, crying stating they are an unbury person within their own video that Efron is talking about. Not all non-binary people use they them. In fact, I'm a non-binary person and I use they she pronouns. Efron discloses in their comment section that they didn't know this and apologize for saying those things. I just I don't know how he didn't notice, uh, especially since they called themselves a LGBT YouTuber. Gay men are immune to accidentally misgendering people, apparently. Unless you're talking about Crying Blossom, in which... Uh, no shit. Being an LGBT YouTuber doesn't automatically mean you're non-binary or use they, them. From what I understand. Number three. They don't seem to like crying in the first place. There is this... This is another thing that I really have quote-unquote evidence for, but I feel like it holds some weight. Who cares if he doesn't like Crying Blossom? Why is this an issue? In their comment section, Efron goes uh, against a commentator about this point about Crying's gender and making points from a turf. Efron's words, not mine. This makes me think that Efron just straight up doesn't like crying for whatever reason. What do you mean, for whatever reason? He's making a commentary video on them. Disagreements in opinions is a reason for disliking someone. Now, not all commentary video targets have to be on people the commentator dislikes, but it's common that people will cover people they don't particularly like. I'm trying to discredit them wherever they can. What? 
Ephraim is trying to discredit them because he pointed out that Blossom made arguments that he finds bad, aka arguments that are from TERFs. Isn't that, oh I don't know, what commentary is? Not to mention, in this video you imply that Ephraim is transphobic and hates Blossom for that reason. Is that not discrediting him? So, now that I have laid out where we are in this debacle, let's begin with the video. I don't know how to edit very well, so I'm going to use timestamps to guide y'all through this video. I will quote and put up on the screen of where I am talking or what I'm talking about, but other than that, you'll need to watch the video for yourself. God damn it, don't make response commentaries if you don't know how to properly edit response commentaries. This gives you the chance to draw your own conclusions. 119. What does it mean to let them decide? Is there a meeting place? I just... what? What is this even supposed to mean? It was a joke. He was asking if there was a place for all lesbians to get together and collectively decide what is right in lesbian issues. I will play the clip here. This argument is stupid for a couple of reasons. The first one being, what the hell does it mean to let them decide? Is there some meeting place where lesbians determine what identities are and aren't valid in this context? He even made a Simpsons reference at the end of it. He was clearly joking. What crying is saying is that lesbians get to decide what the word lesbian means. Even if Ephraim's remark was serious, you did not at all help him. You, in fact, just repeated the thing he was confused about and expected it to make sense. It's like when you're speaking to a deaf or mentally disabled person, and when they tell you they can't hear or understand you, you just repeat it again but slower. It's like here. If a straight person came into the LGBT plus group, and started using the gay flag because, quote, Oh, well, technically I fit the terms. No one would agree with that. Um, yes they would. If they technically fit the definition, then they fit the definition. If a man who only liked women and nothing else said that they technically fit the term gay man, they would be lying because the definition doesn't fucking include straight men. If a, let's say, bisexual man says they technically fit the term gay man, depending on how you interpret the definition, could be right, because gay can also be an umbrella term for any non-straight individual. The only way this example you gave would kinda work is if we were talking about a man who is mostly attracted to women, but has a small attraction to men. Sure, they're mostly straight, but they are technically attracting attracted to men as well, meaning they could use the term gay. This example is fucking stupid. There isn't some cobra meaning about what counts as being lesbian, it's just a public topic that apparently only lesbians can discuss. An understanding of like what a lesbian is. Does crying get to depict that? I think so, as they did identify with being a lesbian. Uh, what crying is upset about is the Pokemon collecting habit Mushroom seems to be going through. You may hear the way this is worded and see what I was talking about when I said in an earlier point that they got something extremely wrong about me, but I won't spoil it until they say it directly, but oh my god, this is so funny. But other than that, fucking what? What non-homophobic person describes a person describing themselves with many identities as having a Pokemon card collecting habit? That's just weird. 214, the turf. I just find this one really funny. It just shows me even more that Efron just might not like crying. Like, okay, I get having an opinion about gender and not agreeing with some aspects, but this lady, whatever the hell her name was, is a transphobic individual. Now, Tunkin is now misleading his audience, implying that Efron agrees with the turf in question, which is clearly not fucking true. 
I find it very funny that somebody who begins the video by saying they're a non-binary lesbian and it's grossly spreading misinformation that I had to say something as a non-binary lesbian individual. Given there are lesbians who have decided that identity is invalid. Ariel Scarcella, for example. How can you both be non-binary, meaning neither binary gender, neither a man or a woman, that's how you identify, but then claim the word lesbian as a sexual orientation when a lesbian means a woman that is attracted to other women. Even going so far as to call the label itself fundamentally disrespectful. No, how could you be both non-binary, meaning not a woman or a man, neither binary gender, and then claim the word lesbian as a sexual orientation when the word literally means women attracted to other women. To all the lesbians, watching this right now, I want to ask you something. Doesn't it piss you off when cisgender straight guys claim to be lesbians? If you're at a bar or something and you tell somebody, you know, the guy hits on you and you're like, you know, I'm a lesbian. And he says, oh yeah, I'm a lesbian too. And you're like, bro, like you're not though. Why aren't we getting upset when non-binary people are now claiming that same label? Like, wouldn't it be disrespectful to say that non-binary people can be lesbians? Because wouldn't that be misgendering them? Boy, doesn't that remind you of somebody? Um, yeah, it is pretty harmful considering the fact that it misuses the label lesbian when those who use it aren't lesbians. Oh yeah, and not to even mention this clip from his video. Now, I think she's wrong to think that, and would defend your identity against those who are trying to argue it's invalid. However, the point that some people do think yours is invalid, including the people you want to blindly sign off this role of determining who can and can't identify a certain way to, still stands. Who is a lesbian, I should note, who excludes people due to their gender confirmation. If you want to agree with her, go for it. You sound more transphobic than Ephraim, honestly. This is so funny. But expect some backlash for being called transphobic because this is literally what this is. Like, say any slur, go for it, but if you get punched, don't start crying and ask why. Four minutes. Yipes, the chart about people agreeing slash disagreeing with trans people in general. Yikes, someone puts a statistic on screen. How dare they acknowledge facts? This slimy little fuck just put this statistic on the screen with no context. Like, I swear this is so fucking intentionally malicious, it hurts. Let's look at the actual context. Which, first off, can we talk about the implication that validity of identities is accepted by majority rule? Because if that is what you believe, then what the fuck? Most Americans don't actually believe that you can have a different gender identity than the one that would correspond to whatever sex you were assigned at birth. That doesn't make the identity of transgender and non-binary people any less valid because their validity is not determined by vote. So again, I bring up this point where Efron doesn't like crying. I think you all understand where I'm going with this. Ephraim is transphobic because he put a true statistic on the screen and said that the statistic doesn't automatically mean trans people aren't valid. Okay then. At this point, Ephraim might not be transphobic, but I can't deny the overwhelming amount of times they have just thrown crying under the bus because they are non-binary. If crying was like cis or was a girl of some kind, would your opinion change? I feel like this needs to be clarified a bit more. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the fucking phone. So you think that Ephraim may not be treating Blossom fairly because they're non-binary, but you earlier in this video claimed that Ephraim said he wasn't aware that Blossom was non-binary, which isn't even true, by the way. How the fuck does that work? Because I'm not believing your little comment in your comment section of where Ephraim. Why? Do you have a reason to not believe it? Of course you fucking don't. 525. Leaving in the history part. I love that they left this part in. Okay, so here's this little thing I, I've learned from lesbians. That butch lesbians use or used he, him pronouns sometimes as a way to portray themselves being more masculine. They aren't trans, but it was like considering themselves more mask than like maybe what they're physically capable of doing. Okay, wait, but what about trans mask lesbians? Do you support those? Non-binary lesbians that use he-him pronouns exist. You do know that, right? 
615. Okay with non-binary lesbians, but why no bi-lesbians? So I think I understand where the miscommunication comes in for this situation. Let me explain. Non-binary lesbians are valid and do exist and should be treated fairly. Why? Because you said so? Are you going to give anything else? Bi-lesbians are bisexual women who lean towards more to like liking girls. Are you implying that bi-lesbians shouldn't be treated fairly? If so, why? That does not invalidate them, but that's kind of where, like, the whole argument of, like, why would you ever want to use something that one person uses for their identity just to add on to your own? Because they feel it best describes them, and the fact that you have a problem with that is annoying as fuck. Also, again, use this argument for demisexuals. What Efron doesn't seem to get here is the separation of gender and sexual identity. The point Efron was making has nothing to do with the separation of sexuality and gender identity. The point he was making was that non-binary lesbians are a group of people that a lot of lesbians don't accept in their community, which, by their logic, would make them invalid. Like, they are two completely different things. This is why Crying and all these other lesbians are so mad about this concept. Mushroom is trying to use the argument that the LGBT accepting gender for many sexualities. So she thinks that everyone would slash should accept her for her new found identity. He thinks I'm a bi lesbian. This is so fucking funny. This is what I was talking about. Holy shit, this is great. I defend bi-lesbians not because I am one, but because I feel bi-lesbians are worth defending. Guys, I'm just bisexual. I'm not a bi-lesbian. That's where this comes in. Do I think crying makes the point or explained it in that way? Not really. Do I think everyone would be way more understanding if of this if they had? Maybe, again, we're talking about a bunch of teenagers on the internet, they might have been denied their whole lives, so going into their safe space and rejecting them might be a little touchy, but I think that everyone needs to come to this understanding that this is dumb, and no one is going to hurt, be hurt, if they lose one little word in their label. This is a massive fucking contradiction. It's not that big of a deal if bi lesbians lose one word from their label, but it is a big deal if you happen to use the same word a lesbian uses to describe themselves. Also, can we just talk about how fucking just gross that is? I don't care if you lose a point of your identity, lol. Like, that is one of the most entitled fucking things I've heard in a while. What the actual fuck? So, that's where I stand. I watched the rest of this video, but I just can't be bothered to keep repeating myself or any of my points. I'm not so great at this. I can tell. So, who knows how well I even did. I might be making an update after a while to see where this goes, but it might already be dead by now. A month later, shall we add? <laughs> Efron, crying, mush. If at all any of you watch this video, let me know what y'all think. I'd love to talk about this in the comments or somewhere else if you want. It helps us all get to understand each other better. Why comment when a commentary video will do? My points for Mushroom. My friend, I love that you want to be your own person. I love that you feel confident enough to come out in the world as a queer person. No, no you don't. You're repeatedly invalidating a harmless queer identity while dismissing the people who go by that label. Fuck off. That's awesome, but let's not step on the toes of other queer persons. Okay, mister. It's not a big deal if an identity I don't like gets their label taken away over shit that I haven't even properly explained. I don't think you ever meant malice. You were sweet to talk to, but you have hurt people with the way you have used these terms. I don't think you really need to apologize, but maybe by looking more deeply into the community and its labels, you will be able to find a flag or a label that fits great and doesn't you take words from another identity. Yeah, demisexuals! Ever identified as a lesbian? A bisexual? A Vincian, perhaps? Go fuck yourself! How dare you! My points for crying. I think you made a lot of great points in your video. 
I also understand your anger and upset at Mushroom for this whole thing. But I think this video could have been much better in all aspects if you gave yourself a little more time to think. Your video was fairly energetically driven, and I could hear and feel your emotions. Not a bad thing, but I feel like it affected your arguments a little bit. My points for Efron. Look, homie, I get it. It's funny to make fun of people, or even if you think you understand something a lot more than somebody else, but I just can't fully understand where you're coming from. I don't want to call you transphobic, but I can't shake. That's how you feel about crying. Just call him transphobic for the love of God. Excluding others from the LGBT isn't going to help anybody. Tonkin, please, stop. As you said in your video, Mushroom needs to be respected and feel valid, but let's leave this one to the lesbians. Let's leave this one to the lesbians, says the trans man in a video about bi lesbians. I feel like us masculine peeps. I think you're mask leaning. Sorry if you're not, I just couldn't find anything about you. I hope you don't feel disrespected about my video by you. I just wanted to show how you said could be seen as quite hurtful. You compared bi lesbians to collecting Pokemon and said the identity losing one part of its label doesn't matter. Do I even need final thoughts? Tonkin, stop. Watch Ephraim's video, goodbye.